today on Beloved Women. The enemy knows that if he can get to your heart, he can control everything else. If he can control your feelings, your emotions, and your beliefs, he can push you further away from Christ. This is why faith is so important because faith helps us to live beyond our feelings. Faith helps us to say, man, I really don't feel God's love today, but I know that he loves me. Today's video is brought to you by The Beloved Boutique, an online shop for Christian women to find the resources they need to consistently make time for God. Our journals, planners, Bible studies, and more are designed to help you connect with God in simple, practical, and meaningful ways. Start shopping now at TheBelovedBoutique.com. The second piece of armor that we are to put on is the breastplate of righteousness. So let's first talk about what is righteousness and then how to put on this breastplate. Righteousness in the Bible means meeting God's perfect standard for not only how you live, but also how you think, what you believe, and even your attitude. Because of sin, no one can be righteous without God. No matter how hard we try, no matter how much work we do, we will never be able to meet God's standard of perfection to be righteous in our own eyes. Isaiah 64, 6 says, all of us have become like one who is unclean and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. We all shrivel up like a leaf and like the wind, our sins sweep us away. In addition to that, Romans 3, 23 tells us, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Knowing this, God sent Jesus to take on the punishment of our sin so that we can be forgiven of our unrighteousness and also so Jesus could live a perfect life so we can now take on his righteousness when we place our faith in him. Once we are saved, God no longer sees our filthy attempts at trying to live right. He only sees the righteousness of his son on us. 2 Corinthians 2 25 tells us for our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. So Christ literally gives us his own righteousness. When it comes to our armor we are to put on the breastplate of righteousness. How do we put on the breastplate of righteousness? We are to place our faith in Christ because we can't believe in our own righteousness, but when we place our faith in the work of Christ, we are covered. Genesis 15, 16 tells us this about Abraham in the Bible. And he believed the Lord and it was counted to him as righteousness. Abraham was not considered righteous by the Lord because of his works, but because of his faith. Many times we mistakenly confuse righteousness with works. We question, am I doing enough for God? Am I going to church enough, reading my Bible enough? We think these things make us good, but things don't make us good. God does. Even if we are doing all these things, we cannot live a righteous life without faith in Christ. It is our faith in him that makes us righteous. Now, if we truly believe in the work and sacrifice of Christ, we will want to live righteous lives as our faith will produce good works, but works on their own are not enough to cover us in righteousness. When we visualize the breastplate and a suit of armor, what does it cover? It covers the chest, protecting the vital organs, especially the heart. This is important because it is through the heart that we believe and have faith and are then covered in the righteousness of Christ. Romans 10, 9 through 10 tells us, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart, one believes and is justified and with the mouth, one confesses and is saved. Let me say that again. For with the heart, one believes and is justified. When we believe in our hearts and are then justified, we are considered righteous before God. Our belief starts in our heart. This is why the Bible tells us to protect our hearts. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. The enemy knows that if he can get to your heart, he can control everything else. If he can control your feelings, your emotions, and your beliefs, he can push you further away from Christ. This is why faith is so important because faith helps us to live beyond our feelings. Faith helps us to say, man, I really don't feel God's love today, but I know that he loves me. It's not enough to believe things about God. We must believe the truth 
about him. When describing the armor of God, Paul uses the illustration of a Roman soldier. Their breastplate would stay in place and not slip down because of the belt around their waist. Our breastplate of righteousness will not stay in place if we do not have on the belt of truth that we discussed last session. Feelings don't protect the heart. The righteousness of Christ does. So the enemy will do everything that he can to make you forget that truth to gain control of your heart. He will condemn, confuse, accuse, and belittle us to discourage us from being the women that God has called us to be. He'll remind us of our wrong and our shortcomings and failures to deter us from standing firm. What he won't tell you is that you're already covered. We literally have on the righteousness of Christ covering us. He has given us his armor, which is impenetrable to any attack from the enemy. So we must remind ourselves we are not wearing a breastplate of righteousness of our own that we formed ourselves. Christ came to us and gave us his own armor. We are wearing his breastplate of righteousness. But if we forget this, we will lose heart. And if we lose heart, we will forget the power that we have in Christ. This is why God tells us to love him with our whole heart, because if there is an emptiness in our hearts not filled with God, we will seek other means to fill it. It's like going to the grocery store hungry and buying more than you need. If you had eaten before you got there, you would not buy foods that you didn't need and that were not good for you because you don't desire what you already have. You already have the righteousness of Christ. You don't need to work for it. You already have God's love. You don't need to compromise for the love of man. You already have God's freedom, peace, and joy. You don't need to go looking to the world for things that you already have. The question is, will you believe this? Are you persuaded to trust that God has you covered? Are you convinced that he alone is enough? This is a heart issue. Belief is in the heart, so we must cover our hearts with what Christ has already done for us on the cross. And although Christ has done the work, we are still commanded to put on this breastplate of righteousness, his breastplate of righteousness. There is action required on our part to ensure we utilize the protection Christ has afforded us and that action is to choose to believe the truth about God, to choose to obey God by faith and not our works or feelings. Our feelings will have us on Team Jesus one day and the next day questioning if it's all really worth it. Faith tells us God is enough, His grace is sufficient, He is for us and motivates us to live the righteous life that God desires. When we believe the truth in our hearts about God, we will want to obey Him and obedience is kryptonite to the enemy. The enemy is betting you will follow your feelings and give in to the desires of your flesh. But when we believe in God and desire him, we won't give in to the tricks of the enemy. God doesn't want us to be obedient simply because he has a control issue. No, obedience protects us. Just like the rules that I established for my own children, they are not for the sake of having rules, but to make sure that they are safe protected and out of harm's way. I set the rules because I know better and if they trust me, they will obey those rules. The enemy does not want us to follow God's ways because God's way is our protection. Following God does not mean our lives will be perfect and void of hardship, but it does protect us from the evil one. James 4, 7 tells us, submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So follow Christ. Put on his righteousness and your enemy will have no choice but to retreat. Thank you so much for watching Beloved Women with me, Christina Patterson. Stay tuned for a sneak peek at next week's video. For even more encouragement from Beloved Women, including daily devotionals, practical advice for everyday Christian living, Bible studies, and more, be sure to download the Beloved Women app available for free in the Apple and Google Play stores. Today's video was brought to you by The Beloved Collective, a membership site for Christian women providing guided video Bible studies, printable study guides, and online community to help you connect with God in simple, practical, and meaningful ways. Join today at MyBelovedCollective.com. Now enjoy your sneak peek at next week's video. The farther we travel, the more irritated our feet will become until we cannot go any longer. With shoes, however, our feet are protected, preparing us to go further faster. And just like we cannot go far without shoes, we cannot go far without the gospel. The gospel is this. Jesus came to the world as a man, lived a holy life, 
died on the cross and rose again that those who place their faith in him may be forgiven of their sins and receive eternal life. He's done all the work. The gospel protects us from having to do the work ourselves. It frees us from the traps of sin and the law. It enables us to complete our mission with God's power and not our own. So to not put on the gospel is like trying to run a marathon with no shoes on. It's so important that we remind ourselves of the gospel every day. At least we find ourselves ill-equipped to complete the mission before us.